All right, everyone, here we are with another video with Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. All I ask from returns for you guys to smash that like button. And if it's your first time here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, click on that notification bell so you don't miss a single video and you're up to date on our chart analysis here with 42 Vision. And here we are with RDBX, Redbox Entertainment Inc., slightly pulling downwards, trying to find support. And we need to discuss. A lot of data and some concepts here that I had conversations with you guys in yesterday's video and comments. And we're going to break it all down and what's going on in the charts. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the home and opportunities I mentioned this morning over at the Discord. And we strive for opportunities like these every single day. So the home runs of the day were spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market and receive this clarity and edge over the charts, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord and getting connected to our 42 Vision Indicator. So here we are with the three stocks I mentioned this morning. Every single one of them gave jumps of 3 to 5%, 5 to 10% plus, but two of them turned out to be a home run. And here we are with one of them. We caught it in the pre-market REV under a bear indicator, went into extreme weakness, Turned back around with full strength, got that bull indicator on 42 vision and full strength here, giving a highest point of 40% plus. And then we have here MREO. It was under strength and a bull indicator here on 42 vision, consolidating, went into strength towards the belt, gave a small jump of 20 to 30%, pulled back down and jumped up again for a highest point of 40% plus, guys. If you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre market, Check out the link down below and receive this clarity and edge with the 42 vision indicators. We look forward to having you join us. And apart from this, you can also gain access to our bots and our Tesla bot at 935 AM sent us out a bull indicator. And from that moment forward, within minutes, all options went up a hundred percent plus guys. We strive for opportunities like these every single day. Once again, that link is down below. We look forward to having you join us. And let's jump into these charts. So here we are with RDBX stock, Redbox Entertainment Inc. And as I stated earlier in the video, trying to find support here within the charts. Now I'm going to zoom this chart out. And I want you guys to look at the bigger picture here because I had this conversation with most of you guys yesterday in the comment section of yesterday's video, how I had stated that the buy button was taken away. Yes, it was not taken away from shares, but it was taken away from options. And when you look at this big chart right here, this bigger play here, of all the way down here of two dollars all the way up to eighteen dollars options did play a role even though it's derivatives right i'm gonna pull this up so we can read it together i look forward to seeing your thoughts down below if you agree with me share your insight as well and if you disagree with me i look forward to seeing your hard evidence on why i could be wrong again this is not financial advice this is my perspective alone my opinions and i could be completely wrong about everything i'm saying so let's look at this together this is from an article and you see it pop up here. It says how they work in tandem. You could see here it says gamma squeezes and short squeezes often happen at the same time. This is because the market maker or institution is taking a short position in both scenarios and therefore has to properly hedge their short position by going long at the same time. When they both happen simultaneously, the squeeze is aggressive. And that's what we saw when GME and AMC and other large short squeezes. Then you also have this pop up here explaining how they work together, right? Investors get very bullish. They start going heavily into a shorted stock and then the stock rises, forcing short sellers to get pressured and the market makers will buy more and more shares to properly hedge against their positions. The bulls will get more bullish and more bullish and then we end up with this positive feedback loop that buyers buy market makers hedge and short sellers get squeezed out of their positions buying back shares of their short positions and then this is a ramp up right and that's where the gamma ramp gamma squeeze comes into play then forcing an even larger short squeeze so when we come back here to the chart that's how fast these moves happen because gamma was also lighting up the fire and the fuel now I'm not stating that it can't continue to squeeze. The borrow fee rate is high. The short position and the float is still high. I get it. But the whole entire fact that the buy button, not from shares, but from options, call options has been removed and only selling is allowed is one of the variables that adds to the fire of a huge squeeze 
possibility that has been taken away, guys. That's what I want you guys to understand. I'm not saying that it's impossible to continue to go back up or reach newer highs or short squeeze or that it is possible. Either one is totally possible. That it's impossible or possible. It's all possible with a short squeeze stock and such a speculative and hype stock like this one. And a lot of eyes are on it. But one of the variables that adds to the short squeeze pressure and especially on the shorts has been removed which was actually followed by the byproduct of gamma squeezing right which comes from the options chain now we're going to go ahead and analyze this chart and i want to share with you guys what are my thoughts going forward again not financial advice anything i share in this video it's my opinion alone and my perspective and i could be completely wrong but as always i love conversating with you guys i look forward to seeing your thoughts down below and i'm going to pull up the bull and bear indicators which you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator and getting connected to our qqq bot and our newly released tesla bot and we have other bots on the way so that you can receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities and you can now join the members using these resources to maximize in either direction by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts so here we are with rdbx and as you see it it's been under a bear indicator since yesterday it canceled out the most recent bull indicator and as i was doing the video yesterday the stock was falling pretty hard and then it ended the day around 11.20 to 11.60 cents right and then we opened up the day with volatility and we broke down to newer lows nearly below ten dollars and it has bounced back and formed slight support now let's go ahead and zoom out here and look at the four hour real quickly so on the four hour this has been under a bear indicator since fifteen dollars and thirty two cents we recently hit green bars and yesterday we hit our first two red bars and i stated if this continued we could possibly go lower and here we are fighting trying to level off within this area and create a support here so we need to go ahead and zoom in on the 30 minute and 15 minute to look at the volatility and resistance and supports but if you zoom out even further on the one day within the volatility it has hit a red bar we were under a green bar and it hit that bear indicator and i stated in yesterday's video if you go ahead and look at yesterday's video or let me see if i could pull up a recap here i stated we need to watch this has not closed out yet there's still an hour left in the day and if this closes out and it turns out to be a wick downwards and a red bar this could possibly continue the downward pressure or test new lows i'm going to show you guys the small recap it was just a few seconds and then we're going to jump right back into it here on the 30 minute time frame and the 15 minute to talk about support and resistance today as the day ends there's still an hour and 21 minutes left either this bar is going to be a red bar pointing downwards and actually starting the continuation of a downside or sideways action we need to see how the day ends for that to unravel and there you see how it actually played out but let's go ahead and pull up the 30 minute let's talk about these bull and bear indicators and resistance and support the first thing is it is trying to create a support here and bounce away from it we could see the transitions from red bars to red with green bars and we would like to see this continue and especially how it actually is fighting to break above 1170s it rejected it and it's back down towards 1142 i think that's going to be a key resistance level based off the history here of the chart the high of the pre-market the high of the day so far and it's bounced back from it and if it could continue shifting into dark green and green bars we want this bear indicator to get canceled out by a bull indicator in the possible move to the upside based off the 30 minute but right now within the volatility this bear indicator is dominating the chart and if we go ahead and look at the 15 minute you could see that it hit a full transition here from the dip area to the rip area just got a bull indicator and we need this to break above 1172 1174 and it just canceled out the previous bear indicator from 1288 now is this going to hold itself up well the resistance levels will tell us and the key levels in the chart now back to the 30 minute here the most important resistance level is 1176 breaking above that and getting back up towards 1292 and the highs in the pre-market yesterday of 1350 we talked about these levels yesterday in our video 
and they still hold to be true. We need to watch them very carefully. Now, it is trying to hold itself up above yesterday's low of 1057. And if you look at it right there, that's when that last bar actually started to pick up with steam and pick up the pace. And it went from 1057 all the way to 1175. We want to stay above 1057. If it gets broken through the next support is the low of the day of 988. In between that, we can also use 1020 to $10 to be watching this in a much microscopic level. And if they all get broken through, the next support below 988 would be down here at 938. And if you want to round that up to 940, you can. And those are the key levels I'm going to be watching and how 42 Vision reacts going into next week. I look forward to seeing your thoughts down below. And I hope you guys learned something new with the Gamma and the squeeze opportunities, as well as how it relates to the options chain, even though options are derivatives. Again, I would love for you guys to comment down below your insight. Do you agree with me? Disagree with me? And as always, let's make some money.